Hey everyone, so I just recently had a revelation today and I felt like sharing it with you because I feel like for me personally it's a powerful one for me and it just reaffirms the reason why I am so fascinated and inspired by this energy of the Divine Feminine and why I feel called to work with it more and um, we are moving from scarcity to abundance right now scarcity in mindset to abundance um, fear base perspective to love based perspective and I feel like I've realized that abundance is really from what I've experienced it's my ability to fully receive it's my ability to fully surrender now when I am creating space in my mind in my in, in my body I'm surrendering I am breathing deeply breathing out any stagnant energy breathing out the old I am surrendering I am letting go. Now that is a feminine aspect. The feminine is really the surrendering and the ability to receive. So the more I surrender to my feminine, the more I work on my feminine in a society that projects masculinity onto me, um, the more I'm able to fully receive more. I'm able to receive more. And so I have to ask myself regularly, what am I attaching to? What am I holding on to? And let that go every day. And I do that through daily practice. So daily practice is like really important to me because I'm keeping myself on this vibration, on, on this in this flow of allowing myself to receive, allowing myself to, um, you know, because abundance is a mindset as well. It's a skill, it's an ability that, uh, that needs to be maintained. If I don't do the daily work, I can easily fall back into um, the collective mindset um, and and I can easily end up letting my letting my outside environment uh, shape the way that I think and and i'm I'm choosing to take full accountability and responsibility for how I view the world through daily practice because that's the time that I choose consciously, how do I want to, that I choose con consciously, like how do I want to perceive the world, how do I want to receive, how, what do I want to create, and I let go, and I keep letting go, and it's so important for me to keep letting go and keep creating space in my body, because I come from um, a, a lineage of poverty and, and war, like I'm Vietnamese, my parents are Vietnamese, and they've they they've come from poverty they've come from war and and i've learned in family constellations that um i can carry five generations um the belief systems of the past five generations in my bloodline so as i heal myself as i shift this perspective i'm not shifting it just for me but i'm shifting it on behalf of all my ancestors as well and that's powerful and um, and and this is the perfect time to do it because from my from my generation onwards, you know, I was born into Australia. Like that's already abundance. Just being born into this country is already such uh, a, a huge privilege. Like I'm so grateful to be here. I'm surrounded by everything that I need and want, and I have access to everything that I need and want. So this is literally the best, like one of the best cosmic playgrounds for me. I can just create and share and um so grateful for that now abundance how how can i allow myself to receive more and to be able to receive i have to have the space to receive so as i let go as i create space i allow things to keep flowing i allow things to uh, keep flowing in my life now um inevitably in <laughs> I can't avoid change, right? And um, the more I welcome change, the more I allow things to change, the more um, I feel more alive because I'm forming an alliance, a healthier relationship with the unknown. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I really don't know where I'll be in a month. I don't even know where I'll be in, in, in a year. And the more I surrender to the unknown, the more I um, allow myself to receive new things because I'm not holding on to an idea. I'm open to an uh, infinite possibility of, of outcomes. And so I'm constantly just 
allowing um, the universe to to give me what it is that I, I really need. What does my soul need? What does my energy really need? Because the universe knows and the universe will send that to me. I may not be conscious of that. But as long as I keep myself open, I keep creating space through meditation, through breathing deeply, through yoga, through going out into nature um, and all that. Qigong, there's so many things that can help me uh, let go. You know, I create space in my heart, in my body, in my energetic field to welcome new things. And I trust that the universe knows what's best for me. And I trust the universe will give me what's for my highest good. And my ego cannot try and control that. The ego, my ego does not always know what's really, what's truly the best thing for me, what the best thing for me is. And so, um, I, I put my trust into the unknown, into the, into the divine. And, um, and yeah, that's just like the power, like I've just had some really like just big revelations around abundance and I felt like sharing that and I hope that it resonates. Um, you know, take whatever resonates and everything else, just let it go <laughs> and keep like, just keep detaching. Um, and I just wish you all, um, so much abundance and I, I, I just wish that everyone, um, can get to a place where they know what helps, what will help them or what helps them, um, see the world from a perspective of love. And I wish that everyone can, um, yeah, just align with this, uh, energy and paradigm of abundance and realizing just how how supported they are by the universe and just how much they have and um, yeah so I'm just wishing you all the best and yeah thank you for watching uh, I've got a lot of energy right now <laughs> sorry all right namaste